So I googled I would never learn this boring language to see which language the internet thinks is the most boring. Now personally, I don't know how any language can be boring, so imagine my surprise when I found five of them. Sono annoiato. Se caldo. Sto aburrido. Ma nuovo du. Okay, so it all started with something rather unexpected. Now I can't say I've ever tried reading a telephone book or learning Sanskrit. Have you? But this comment intrigued me, so we'll come back to it at the end of the video. Meanwhile, you might recognize these boring languages. Blue. Blau. 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 Tiger. 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 There are many Germanic languages out there and they seem to get a lot of stick on the internet. It is the internet after all, the source of all earthly wisdom. Any guesses what the biggest complaint about these languages is? Yep, they are too similar to English and therefore uninteresting, especially one language, apparently. It's all the fault of a common ancestor called Proto-Germanic, a very ancient language that many tribes spoke back in the BC years. Germanic languages all use the same alphabet and have many of the same words and ways to describe things, although this comment is only partly true. And newsflash, English is also a Germanic language. Svenskan är ett nordgermanskt språk eh, som är närbesläktat med nas- danska, norska och även isländska till viss del. Och det här är för att alla de språken härstammar från urnordiskan eh, som var ett språk som talades i de nordiska länderna eh, för över 1000 år sedan. There are 10.8 million native Swedish speakers in the world and some people think this is a bad thing because the whole world has 8 billion people, so who has the time to learn such a small language? Not to mention this important thing. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure about that, but I found a far more convincing reason to call Swedish boring. Swedes refer to it as cold talk or dead talk. Hey! Oh no, now I'm talking about this too. Hey! Måste jag säga någonting innan hon tycker jag är skum? Vädret? Jag vet inte hur vädret är idag. Fint väder. Vädret? Jag vet inte hur vädret är idag. Ja, jättefint. If you want to know about the weather, you ask a meteorologist. That's right, Swedish has no small talk. No small talk means that you're probably not going to have a whole lot of random conversations with strangers in Sweden. So if that was your plan, if it was, well, you can try. But you will be the weird one. So what have you got to say about that, Swedes? Du har satt din sista potatis. You have planted your last potato. This is where I draw a line in the sand. I will not accept any more of, any more of this behavior. And their relatives don't get off so lightly either. Apparently, no one would bat an eye if they heard you speak Dutch. So if you want to get a lot of attention, learn Arabic. Okay. All that effort goes into learning a language definitely deserves a good payoff. So the internet advises you to choose wisely. As for my advice, which is way nicer. You can get lots of it for free just by clicking these three buttons right here. So this was a Dutch person speaking, also fluent in English, and it's true that many French words are already familiar to us. In fact, most of them are loan words that we got after William the Conqueror invaded the British Isles. But hey, if you don't like cognates and loan words to help you get from A to B, perhaps you should learn Polish instead. Polish sentences look like this. I challenge you to find a single familiar word right here. Also, apparently, French is super awkward. Wouldn't I love to be a fly on the wall in this person's room? And by the way, French has plenty of words you don't know because there's still the other 55%. Come to my class, students. Today we will be learning the phrase, what's this thing in French? Very simple, what's this thing? Okay, here's how you say it in French. Here's the secret that shows that. What's this thing? What's this thing? Very simple. Huh? A kiss is what? Okay. This. What is this? Oh, 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 So who agrees with this comment? I'll be honest, if you're learning a language for the goosebumps, then German may not be the one for you. Unless... right, 
white people, German clarity can lead to goosebumps. This one here made me laugh. Someone said that learning German is like learning a language with training wheels. It's too easy, apparently. I quote, they capitalized all the nouns in case we couldn't find them ourselves. True story, German does actually do that, and it's a tradition that goes all the way back to the Middle Ages. German always had many different dialects, and they were just trying to highlight important words with similar meanings so people would understand each other. And apparently, it really does help you to read a text faster. But if we want harder languages to learn, well, you can find Russian on my website. Not a training wheel in sight, I promise. There was one argument for German being boring that sort of made sense. While that one there may just be true, is anybody else battling to find interesting German material online? Well, if you are, maybe you don't know this, I have a bunch of lovely books about German, and also about French, and also about Swedish, which coincidentally is all of the boring languages that we've been talking about. Why would I write a book about boring languages, really? So can you guess boring language number four? We actually have a book about that as well. Funny, a Swede said that romance languages are boring, but admitted it might have more to do with cultural bias than anything linguistic. You think? I think that probably was a reason in there somewhere. But if you speak a romance language natively, it's quite normal to find other romance languages boring too. I think we have a bit of a theme going on here, don't you think? But I'm sure many of you totally disagree, so let us have it in the comments. You know what to do, and I'm going to throw in my two cents. Any language can have some unfun parts, but it has so little to do with all of these reasons. It's about how you learn. Like a great story, how a story is told is just as important as what it is about. In fact, here at Story Learning, I actually teach languages through story. The reason is that stories are the best way that I've found to learn any language because stories are how we learn naturally. It's why I've written all these books on stories. It's how we learn our first language, and we can use stories to learn a new language too, which is exactly what I teach here. And if you'd like to learn more about this, I have a completely free story learning kit that shows you how to learn languages using the amazing power of stories. It's completely free. Link in the description below. Check it out. Mexicans are incapable of saying no. So we create pretext excuses, something that people of other countries hate about us. So it wouldn't be strange to hear things like Sí, pero al ratito. Muy probablemente, pero yo te aviso. That's right, not just Spanish, but Mexican Spanish. But get this, the one who thought that Mexican Spanish was boring is, wait for it, well, it was a Mexican. Should we see the reason? Here you go. I would describe a Mexican accent like definitely like Mickey Mouse singing a song. Like Mickey Mouse? I've never heard any Puerto Ricans speak quietly. The Puerto Ricans, you guys are like Mexicans that, you know, have a time limit when it comes to Spanish. <laughs> you speak it quick. Mexicans, we speak Spanish slow. You know, hey, how's it going? Aquí no más, hombre. Puerto Ricans, man. Hey, what's up? Quiero una cosa, tengo una cosa. Mi brother está aquí la cosa, aquí me vuelta. Mi brother, tú sabes, mi brother, tengo una cosa, quiero una cosa. Dame más gasolina. Okay, this is quite interesting because now we're talking about the sound of a language, not the studying part. Fair enough. If you want to speak dialects that sound colorful or more beautiful to you. Loco. Okay. 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 I'm really not sure why that means it's boring, but in Mexico's defense, they have an awesome load of slang terms that are influenced by the indigenous languages of Mexico. These are terms only used in Mexico, and I promise you, they are super fun to learn. ¿Qué onda, carnal? ¿Nos vamos a comer una pizza después del trabajo? No manches, ahorita voy a comerme unos taquitos bien chidos. But we are not done yet debating dialects. Oh no. English? How dare you? Sometimes it's better not to know who said what. The protagonist's struggle. And how does this relate to our discussion of the uses of irony? Yeah, English can be boring even for native English speakers. There are those who feel that English lacks so many of the features that make languages fun. And I'll give you that because languages like Navajo have really cool features like animacy. Animacy is all about how alive something is, dead or alive. All nouns get an animacy rank. What's more, in a sentence, you have to put the noun with the highest rank first. I will stay awake for that. I don't know about you. Back 
when tigers used to smoke? Well, I can't argue with this one, guys. Korean is clearly less boring than English. That is a good one. What else have they got? Reminds me of another thing the internet asked me the other day. Can anyone explain what English's cultural identity is? Ouch. If you have the enlightened answer to that one, please share your thoughts below. What can I do you for, sir? Uh, I want a uh, mouse. Mouse? Mouse? What do you think this is? A pet shop? <laughs> Chocolatey mouse. Chocolatey mouse. Chocolatey mouse. Chocolate. Oh, chocolate mouse. You want a chocolate mouse? No, no. Chocolate mouse. Yeah, it's Chocolatey mouse. mouse. Okay, this one actually makes sense. How could anyone keep up with all the mundane and inconsistent spelling and grammar rules and pronunciation rules? Well, truth is, English really is a mix of lots of different languages. Latin, Greek, French, and there's even a bit of Celtic and Gaelic in there as well. Problem is, we don't have a centralized authority to impose a spelling reform. And who would get to do it? England? The US? I don't want to be around for that slugfest personally. Perhaps Australia can do the honors. Well, that is just rude, but okay, let's be honest. Most English speakers have favorite dialects. We have dialects we don't like as well. In fact... And we have an own accent bias. Studies have shown that even one-year-old babies have a preference for sounds of the language spoken at home. What do you think? Do you prefer your accent? Does that sound better to you? English is so boring. Oh dear, France. Not to worry, apparently even South Africans think English needs some spicing up. If you ask me, the most sensible boringness argument is something else altogether. See, all the top answers on Google for why people should learn English have nothing to do with fun. They're all about work and how English can get you a good job, blah, blah, blah. Remember this comment? Well, the bonus boring language isn't Sanskrit. Are you mad? Internet Sanskrit is the language of the gods, but did you know that Sanskrit is the only language in the world that follows the same form used for writing computer code? Apparently, even NASA thinks Sanskrit will be the best language for creating computer code for their artificial intelligence program. Can you imagine? If you're intrigued, ask us to make a video about it, but I think it's safe to conclude that the only people who find computer programming languages fun are these guys. If it's too easy, it's boring. If it's too hard, it's boring, and people want to learn languages from a different family to their own, but only if it's in the right accent, it appears. And if you want to learn a language and you don't want to be boring, well, great news. The story learning method was designed specifically to be the very opposite of boring, and there's proof of that in this video right here. Unless you're one of those people who thinks it is boring, in which case, <laughs> I just can't give up. <laughs>